Hello and welcome to another update video about Dogecoin. So Doge is also moving higher here a little bit. Yeah, as mentioned in the last video, I'm currently still seeing this here as a B wave to the upside, ABC, um, but also here we have obviously Fibonacci retracement levels that are possible targets for a B wave. I already indicated it <clears throat> in the last videos. We've got a channel here. A channel breakout to the upside is of course to be considered as bullish doesn't necessarily mean that the bear market low is already in. It, it is a very weird structure here. Um, however, we've got as alternative, obviously also that the bear market low could already be in here with this one, two, one, two structure, even though it's my alternative, as we go higher probabilities for that will certainly increase. But um, at the moment, as long as we are in this B wave, there is actually no reason, but yeah, short term upside, certainly always possible here in this corrective move. In fact, um, just reaching the 38.2 retracement for a B wave is quite weak. So we now reach the next one here at around 9.1 cents. That's the 50% retracement. And I also wouldn't be surprised to eventually get maybe to 9.6 or even 10.3 cents. That's all possible in a B wave. But at that point then around the 78.6 at the latest, I would be watching for reversal signals here, um, which is where the price should at the latest turn around in this scenario. But a break above that 10.3 cent level will be a strong indication that the momentum is shifting here further to the upside. And then we would have to reset the wave two. That would then allow prices all the way up to into the sort of region just below 14 cents. If we go above that, then the alternative wave pattern here, the one, two, one, two setup is going to become the primary expectation. Um, of course, the low could be in. I don't know it. Nobody has a crystal ball. We can always only analyze what we have on the charts here. What we need to identify here and take note of is that Doge has not moved yet. Not too much. And I can very well imagine that the primary expectation here might not work out and that we get some sort of a crazy rally for Doge as we had here. Yeah. So personally in the crypto space at the moment, I would be very careful with short positions of any kind, because you can see the altcoin market literally explode at the moment. We have no evidence that the bear market low is already in. However, the potential is certainly there. And because the potential is certainly there, I just be very careful with short positions and I would be preferring spot at the moment. And this is still a nice accumulation phase in which Doge is generally with um, all of these coins. And, you know, we, we are obviously deep in a bear market, you know, uh, anybody who wants to be positioned for the long term. I mean, these are this is a long term accumulation phase. Don't don't think you will be able to buy the absolute low. This normally doesn't work out. This normally doesn't happen. And therefore, um, it is important to be disciplined. I think in these markets have patience. And anybody who wants to be in there for the long run, I think DCA is a good strategy, no financial advice. But that's what I do generally. Um, with the with the altcoins, personally, I want to wait until a confirmed low is in place. I do have obviously still my altcoin portfolio and I, I do add positions here and there. But to be more aggressive with altcoins, I will do that as soon as a confirmed low is in place, because at, at, as long as you you know don't get that confirmed low, you're just catching the falling knife. Now, I personally expect that at the time that a low is confirmed, the price may have already rallied, but that's not a problem because um, <laughs> in doubt, zoom out. Yeah, I mean, if we really get Doge kickoff, I mean, and if the bull run really starts, which I don't see evidence for yet initial evidence yes but it's only very early evidence then we should see prices above 127 anyway so nobody has missed anything you know especially with doge which hasn't really rallied yet so i'm telling you very clearly it could of course join the rally as well um i obviously see you know you see more bullish sentiment here left right and center and if the retailers come back then um yeah you know this could drive it up further so for me it's a bit like here I am still expecting lower. I'm open to the idea that the bear market low could be in short term. Obviously, you can follow higher here as long as support levels are holding. 
in this case, if I would count this as maybe a one, two setup here, the three, let me think if this is a B wave. Well, if this is a B wave, we had the A, B, C. So this is a C wave would have a one, two here, probably the three, this could be a four and then a five up. So that means we can focus on higher short term as long as the support area of 8.1 cent is holding. 8.1 cents, that would be a way for support. Dropping below that would make this um, upside, would be an initial evidence that the upside isn't gonna work out anymore, further in B. So it's a bit like, you know, we've got a short term trend, don't work against the trend, yeah. I sometimes get the question, when do these prices turn around? Now, as long as you have a trend and an impulse and a C wave up is an impulse, you don't know when it's going to turn around. There are, of course, ideal targets, and we've got those higher level resistance areas, for example, here the, whoops, not that. Um, for example, here the 78.6% retracement, yeah? And then you need to watch for reversals, but you don't really have a confirmed reversal until you um, see a support area break. So A, B, C, and B, and this would be a B wave. That's sort of my view at the moment. And um, you would expect five waves in this move up. So it would be one, two, here three, four, five. Yeah, and this, what was it? 8.1 cent level needs to hold. I mean, we could possibly make the case that this year was the wave one and then we had an A, B, C. In that case, I need to draw the FIP. No, the FIP support stays the same. So don't don't worry about that. But yeah, that's sort of where we are with Doge. Um, short term higher, I would still expect short term a bit higher here based on the lower level wave count, as long as the 8.1 cent level is holding. Next targets would be, for example, here for the wave five, we can take the FIP retracements as a guide, 9.1 again, 9.6 and 10.3. Above 10.3, the assumption needs to be that the wave two is needing a, re a reset. Okay, and that's my update about Doge. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.